This information is from Wisconsin's Green Fire, Voices for Conservation, a new organization formed to support the conservation legacy of Wisconsin by promoting science-based management of its natural resources. One of our priorities is sharing knowledge about the relationship between agriculture and water quality. This is one of several presentations and documents on this subject available through our website. My name is Chris Mechnick, a member of Wisconsin's Green Fire. I retired from UW Extension at Stevens Point in 2016 after 35 years working in water and natural resources programs. This presentation draws from the expertise of water quality and public health scientists from DNR and the university system, as well as agricultural conservation experience from Wisconsin Department of Agriculture and County Conservation Departments who are listed here. Our team members are volunteers choosing to provide decision makers with the current science on the relationship between cropping practices and water quality. This presentation provides information about the health effects of nitrate in drinking water. Nitrate contamination is a widespread and severe threat in Wisconsin. On this map, blue areas have zero to 5% of private wells above the nitrate drinking water standard of 10 milligrams per liter, while dark orange areas have over 25% of tested wells above the drinking water standard. Nitrate is very water soluble, so it moves through the water cycle from groundwater recharge areas into aquifers and then to surface waters. Once nitrate enters the groundwater system, it is very stable and it does not degrade. Therefore, it remains a contaminant threat sometimes for decades. The importance of agriculture as a nitrogen source to groundwater on a statewide basis has been documented. Agricultural nitrate comes from application of both inorganic commercial fertilizers and manure. The drinking water standard for nitrate is 10 milligrams per liter. The natural level of nitrate in Wisconsin's groundwater is less than one milligram per liter. Levels between one and 10 milligrams per liter meet the legal standard for drinking water, but show evidence of contamination from human activities. Methemoglobinemia is the only health effect recognized in the drinking water standard for nitrate which was first established by the U.S. Public Health Service in 1962. Research now suggests links between drinking water nitrate and other health effects. Methemoglobinemia, or blue baby disease, is a rare but serious disease. In children under the age of six months, ingested nitrate changes to another form of nitrogen, nitrite, in the stomach. Nitrite interferes with the blood's ability to transport oxygen through the baby's body. We should note that the risk of methemoglobinemia increases if the baby has diarrhea. From 1945 to 1970, about 2,000 cases of methemoglobinemia in infants were reported worldwide. About 200 of those infants died. In a 2001 report, the Department of Health Services documented three cases of methemoglobinemia linked to nitrate contaminated drinking water from 1990 to 1999 in Wisconsin. Public health officials credit public education efforts with this low incidence of methemoglobinemia in the state. For older children and adults, Nitrate in drinking water is not the only source of potentially harmful nitrogen compounds. Many processed meats are preserved with nitrate as well as nitrite, a closely related compound which can be converted to cancer-causing compounds in the body. And certain over-the-counter and prescription drugs contain substances that can interact with nitrite to form harmful nitrogen compounds. Nitrate is also found in vegetables along with compounds that provide protection from the possible harmful effects of nitrate. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services advises that high nitrate levels in drinking water may also increase the risk of birth defects, thyroid problems, 
and certain types of cancer. For this reason, DHS recommends that everyone avoid long-term consumption of high nitrate water. Nitrate is now understood to pose health risks for everyone, not just for infants. Nitrate in drinking water has been linked to birth defects. Five of six epidemiological studies since the 1980s showed increased risk of neural tube birth defects with exposure to nitrate in mother's drinking water. Neural tube defects include spina bifida, which results in an exposed spinal cord and paralysis, and anencephaly, an always fatal brain condition. Some of these birth defects were seen at nitrate levels below the current drinking water standard. Since 2008, four of five epidemiological studies found evidence of increased risk of thyroid disease with water nitrate levels close to or above the current drinking water standard. Also since 2008, four of five epidemiological studies found evidence of increased risk of colorectal or colon cancer with water nitrate levels mostly below the current drinking water standard. A particularly powerful study funded by the National Cancer Institute involved 22,000 women in Iowa and spanned decades of exposure. This was a cohort study of postmenopausal women, their lifestyle, and their health outcomes. A cohort study, which is diagrammed here, follows a defined group of people over time. It is the best available scientific method for measuring the effects of a suspected risk factor. The 22,000 women in the Iowa Women's Health Study used the same drinking water source for more than 20 years. On average, their nitrate exposure occurred over a 33-year period. This study can identify cancers that occur from exposures to nitrate decades before their diagnosis. The study also examined other cancer risk factors, such as nitrate in the diet and smoking. Many individual studies within the Iowa study observed increased cancer risk with ingestion of water nitrate levels that were below the current regulatory limit of 10 mg per liter. For example, in the first line of results, the risk of bladder cancer increases 2.8 times as a result of consuming water containing over 2.5 mg per liter of nitrate for 20 or more years. The other lines show other cancer risk factors. An additional study did not find a link between atrazine, a common weed killing chemical, and ovarian cancer. Health experts, including those at the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, say that more research is needed and different types of studies are needed to resolve conflicting findings in the health studies and to evaluate whether the nitrate drinking water standard should be changed. The US EPA made plans to review the health effects of nitrate in September 2017, but suspended the review in December 2018, making it unlikely that changes in the standard will occur in the near future. Adults who want to minimize the risk of health effects related to nitrate and other nitrogen compounds should reduce their consumption of processed meats and should seek out drinking water with low nitrate levels. Statewide estimates from the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture are that 8.2% of private wells exceed the current drinking water standard for nitrate. 29.2% of wells have between 2 and 10 milligrams per liter of nitrate. The mean nitrate concentration is 5.58 milligrams per liter. If in the future research leads to a lowering of the nitrate standard, many more private wells in Wisconsin would require water treatment or replacement. This increases the importance of reducing nitrate inputs to groundwater in Wisconsin. In conclusion, Wisconsin's Green Fire has three recommendations. We support the efforts of the Wisconsin Department of Health Services and other health professionals to emphasize that high nitrate drinking water poses risks not just to infants, but to all who consume it. 
we encourage health agencies to critically review existing nitrate epidemiological studies and request and perform additional studies where they are needed. And we recommend making reducing nitrate inputs to groundwater the preferred option over well replacement or water treatment. Thank you for listening. For more information, visit our website or email us at info at wigreenfire.org. The following slides contain the references used in preparing this presentation.